this is Gregory Siegel from Codable, and today I'm showing you how to add a splash screen to your Xcode project. So, the first thing you want to do is head over to Xcode, and once this is loading, uh, we wish to create a new project. Okay, so once here we want to go to a single view application, and go next, I'll untick the use storyboard for now. Uh, then we're going to call it splash screen and go next. I'm going to save on my desktop. Okay, and once we've done that, uh, the first thing we want to do is go over here and we want to drag in our splash screen, which takes the form of my Naruto poster, and we're just going to drag it into launch images. <clears throat> so once we've done that, we want to go into our app delegate.m and we want to go down to application did launch with options we just want to create some space and I'm going to zoom in for you okay so once we've done that we just want to type in the piece of code sleep bracket open and we're going to leave it for 5 seconds bracket closed semicolon so what this is telling us is that when the application loads, it will keep the splash screen for five seconds and then it will open the application. So let's just zoom out. And what we're going to do is we're just going to select the device of iPhone 5.0 simulator and we're going to run it. So it's a really sim simple piece of code. It just It's just one line in your delicate.m. It's 22 hours. And there's my clock. Right. So. Once this loads, we'll see my Naruto splash screen, which we've just added. It's taking a while to load. And there we go. So there's our Naruto splash screen, and it's going to hold it for five seconds. And then it will enter the application, like that. Okay, so this was how to add a splash screen to your Xcode project. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it useful. There'll be a lot more videos coming very soon. Um, I'll be posting them on my channel and I hope you enjoy them. The links will be below for my Facebook, Twitter and other various sources. We've got an app out at the moment called Codable and it allows you to create your own websites via your iPod Touch or iPhone and that is on the app app store at, very, at this very moment. We'll be posting other applications out very soon as well and with those applications we'll post even more videos. So I hope you enjoy. This was Greg Siegel from Codable.